Hello, um, welcome to another huge feeding video. Um, I am going to feed this one first. Um, she does need a mist really badly. She dried out a bit. Um, I am going to feed her. I usually don't use adult locusts, but I've got quite a few and a, a nice sized meal for my big teas. So she should be hungry. Yep. So she's took that down. Um, I think it's yeah, it was a fully grown one. Um, so yeah, she's doing perfectly fine. Um, she's really active at the moment. Stays out quite a lot. Um, I forgot to mention this is my Pamphobetes fortis, um, adult female. Um, she's not fully grown. Um, she's easily at a breathable size. She's about seven inches or so, six seven inches I think at the moment. But she's easily breathable. Um, they get about eight ish so she's got a bit of growing to go um, but yeah a very nice tea and you will see my immature male later in the video so yeah um, I'm going to coax her into a hide and then mist her enclosure all right so I'm gonna leave her be back in a sec so this is the biggest tarantula in my collection the p40 is just saw is the second biggest this is my uh, Lassidor Kluge, she's about 7.5-8 inches, still got a lot to grow, these get about 10-11 inch, so she's still got a lot to go, um, she doesn't do too much, she just sits about mainly, um, she's pretty freshly malted, she malted a couple of weeks ago, and she's eating really well, so let's see if she's hungry. Locus is stuck to my hand. Hey, oh dear. And it's jumping. Let's drop it in once more. We'll try to. And she owned it. So, yeah, um, as I mentioned before, I don't usually use adult locusts. Um, once locusts mature, they really don't last long. Um, so, most of the time when I get to feed in, um, if there's any adults, they're usually dead in the box. Um, but some of these are fresh, so I'm going to be using them. Um, generally, the teas don't eat the wings, so I have to take them out. Um, to my knowledge, obviously, never really used them, so I'm not too sure. But I guess they won't eat the eat the wings. Um, so yeah, she's done perfectly fine. I'm actually going to give her the last one. So it's a good size meal for her. Because there's only one more, like the other larges that I've got, none of them have matured. Trying to get the box open. Oh, I found two more. So she's getting one. All right, see if she wants two. Oh, definitely interested. Most definitely interested. As you can see she's got good length to her. She's a big girl. A bit too fast for her. I'll grab it. There you go girl. There you go. See? So she easily at them. And that's a good size meal for her. Next time she'll only get one. But that's just a good size meal. I'm not overfeeding or anything. So yeah, she should be happy with that. And I'm going to leave her be. <laughs> Tracking it along. Alright, I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one. Sorry for spending so much time on this tea, but she's absolutely gorgeous. Alright, back in a sec. So this is my LP. Um, so La Ciudora Para High Banner. Um, one of my favourite teas. Um, quite basic, but... Um, this is the reason I got into La Ciudora's. Um even though the Kluge was my first one, I was actually looking for an LP at the time. So, and this is why. It like a ton of bricks. And they get huge. Um, I do think this is a suspect male. Uh, I just got a feeling. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it be to eat. 
just give it some water and it should be happy. Alright, move on to the next one. Back in a sec. The black like dot down there, well not dot but black like shading is my very skittish um Pshitopelma bromicola, which is spelt like that. And if you've never heard of this tea, it's because it's very rare. Um it's doing well. It likes it's, it likes this enclosure quite cluttered. Um so that's why it's got all this bark. Um because if it just had that it would not come out. But now it's like out every night, just like wandering. But it is in suspect of pre malt. I'm gonna drop it in, see if it's hungry. If not, just take it out. By the way, the locust is just bleeding because it's pretending it's dead. That's what they do. She is in suspect pre malt and is a suspect girl. You can see her there. Yeah, she's in suspect pre malt. I don't think she's gonna eat. Yeah, she's just walking away from it. These are closely related to the Avix, they're in the same family to my knowledge. Um so they're a bit like Samapoas type thing because um, they do have the strong venom to my knowledge. So yeah, she's not hungry. Um, I'm going to leave it in for like 5 minutes, once it climbs out to the top I'll take it out and let her be. Um, so yeah, a bit of a longer one again, but I wish she'd come out. She will she want one, she want some malts. Alright, leave her be. Back in a sec. So this is my Hapo, uh, by the way, Lufus Dephorius is burrowed down, so I'm not going to disturb it. Uh, it's just scorpion. Uh, if people don't know, um, so this is my Plopus species Columbia Large female. Um, she's done that something my male never did, actually burrow. You can actually see her abdomen just there. I'm going to try and feed her. Should be hungry. But she could be in pre -mark. I think she's actually grabbed it. Can I actually tell? No, she won't. I'll give an update on her, she'll probably grab it in a sec. Um, but yeah, she's doing fine. Um, hopefully she'll molt soon so I can um, mate her with my male, but I highly doubt it. Uh, he's still eating, but um, he's running out of time, and I don't think this female's going to be ready for him. Um, in a way, it's good and bad. In a bad way, I uh, won't be able to breathe him, but in a good way, um, I know my male will be fine. Um, he's really odd. He's very unique, so I do like him. Um, just a shame he matured out. Alright, I'm going to leave this crazy girl be. She'll probably grab it in a sec. Tempted to watch for a minute because it's struggling. Yeah, go on then. I'll wait a minute, see if she grabs it. Could be in pre malt, but it could explain why she webbed over the entrance a bit. Give her a sec. I'll give her 30 more seconds. If she texts it, she texts it. If she doesn't, she doesn't. Very uh, moody female, though. She's very fast. Um, she's more skittish than moody. But she is stupidly fast. Alright, I'm going to leave her be. Um, I'll give you an update if she eats. Alright, back in a sec. Um, 
You may think this tea doesn't look too right. Um, she's not been well since when I bought her. Um, she's a very nice female. At least she's pooping and she's drinking a lot. So that's always helpful. Her abdomen is very fat, so I'm helpful for her. And she's just given me the most half-arsed fret posture. So once again, I am very helpful for this tea. Um, as you can see, she is alive. That's her half-arsed um, fret posture. Um, usually she's not too bothered. She's very different to my other psychosternums. I think she's either just old or uh, she just can't be bothered. Uh, she does seem to be calming down a lot. She's always active. Like she doesn't look too good now, but she does walk around her enclosure. Um, she does wander, so and she does drink a lot. So I'm not worried about her, especially now she's pooing and she's giving me a half-assed threat posture. I think the best thing for this girl is if she molts. Um, because she's not really eating at the moment, um, but she has got a fat abdomen, so I'm not complaining right there, her abdomen does look fine. Um, but yeah, hopefully she'll molt and she'll be fine, but she's miles away from it because her abdomen is a beige colour, so I'm not in pre-molt. But, she's picking up, she's definitely picking up, slowly but surely. Um, I'm not being overly confident because um, I don't want to get myself down if she does sadly pass away but at the moment she seems to be picking up which is always nice so yeah this is my cyclosturm smart a um, she hasn't really been well since the day I bought her but yeah I'm gonna leave her be I'm not gonna chuck some food in there um, I'm just gonna fill up a water bowl and let her get on with it so yeah I'll leave her be <laughs> and that is a half-assed fret posture <laughs> um, she's quite daft she, but she's nice, she's a nice girl. Alright, just thought I'd explain that and give her a mini update. Alright, back in a sec. So, this is my Cirrocosmus Leetsy. And these are slowly becoming my favourite tarantulas. Um, she's about half grown. Um, two reasons why they're starting to become one of my favourites. I do like dwarf tarantulas, but they none of them have really been, ever been my favourites. Um, I have my favourite one or two, but no like overall genus that are my favourites. Um, but with these, they're not too fast, um, which is always good. I'm I'm not too good with like my holophilies. They um, they're a pain. I'll be honest. Um, lovely, lovely teas do look really nice, but they are stupidly fast. Um, but these, the other reason is this. If it do it, it should easily be able to take this down. See what I mean? takes on something about the si same size of it and it takes it down with ease um, weird thing though with this species is it always looks like if you look at the legs um, it looks like it's molted and they're still hardening up <laughs> which looks quite cool I'll be honest it's like they're a normal colour in the middle and then like they've got like a bronzish colour um, round this, um, in the middle and like round the side, it's like black tinge, so it looks absolutely awesome. Um, really nice teas. Um, do like my Syrah Cosmos now. Um, I am looking out for a couple, but they're more of the rare ones. All right, I'm gonna leave this one be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Well, I'm um, not gonna feed this tea because I know it's in pre malt. Um, she just sat there. Um, but this is an AC Manny. Um, basically what I did was um, put moss at one side, put a hide on top for it, and then leave dried dirt at the other side. Obviously she didn't like that. So what she did was, she took all the moss, took it to the wet side, buried her water bowl. I've just had to dig that out, that was at the bottom. Um, so basically what she did, she pushed it all out, and she's made this contraption. All that was pushed to one side, I've kind of flattened it out a tiny bit just so I could fit the water bowl. But yeah, she's a, a bit odd. Um, but she's a juvenile suspect female um, AC Manny, captive bred obviously, because the only thing I keep um, tarantula wise. Scorpions, if I only kept captive bred, I keep no, except one. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, found a Pelma C Manny doing perfectly fine. But burrowing her, well, moving the dirt about. Yeah, so that's her. Alright, back in a sec. 
Um, the Acanthoscoria antilasis, um, Acanthoscoria atrox, and the Pseudohyplobus species Kazar. Um, I've all just crushed the head and dropped it in. They're either burrowed or the Pseudohyplobus species barely even eats anyway because it's that small. Um, I'm going to be feeding one. Um, my Gramostola grossers, they will be getting upgraded um, tomorrow, I think. Depends when the post comes. Focused in my one sec. Just put the camera down for a second. I think this is the one that tried to eat. Um, these are taking forever to molt. Sorry, cut off then. Um, these are taking forever to molt. Um, there's a bit of mold, but they are getting um swapped tomorrow, so I am really not worried. They're getting changed tomorrow. Should be hungry. And took it down um, easy peasy um, so I think at least one of these are female because they're taking ages to molt but they will be getting upgraded tomorrow and I'll just feed the other one I'll back in a second once again these will be getting rehoused tomorrow um, I don't think this one's hungry we'll get a minute might change its mind but yeah, these are doing perfectly fine, so are all my other slings. Um, Caviscore Antilosis um, is actually burrowed down. The A truck burrowed down ages ago. He always burrows. Um, and the species Kazar will not molt, so I'm really I'm really thinking it's female just by I've had it two months, something like that. And it's not molted once and it is a sling. So yeah. And the locust just jumped out. Um, I'm going to crush it and drop it back in. Alright, I'm going to crush it and drop it back in and I'll monitor this one. I'll let you know if it eats. Back in a sec. Pseudohyplopus. Uh, no, what am I on about? It's because I just got off. Um, Cryptodromus puriscal. And I know for a fact this one's going to eat. I really hope this one's a female. See, it's hungry. Yep, uh, it's decided not to burrow this time, and um, they're not too. F they, they seem to burrow a lot less malt, but now it just don't seem to bo be bothered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> PE concert is about to actually burrowing now. So, yeah, uh, it seems to be doing alright. Um, I will be upgrading these slings to the one that you saw my sea leeks in. I'll be giving them something like that, but without bark. Cause, uh, um, I only give bark to like adults um, that I think will burrow under it if it slings um, they'll burrow if they want, if not they won't um, it's a bit different in my opinion um, obviously opinions are opinions so yeah, I'm going to leave this one to eat and move on to the next one which is burrowing back in a sec this is my P. Conceritis, um violet you can see the colours very well um, I don't really see these round often, but I got mine for a killer price because um, I literally saw one the other day. Any spider on there? <laughs> don't know where that came from. Yeah, money spider. Um, yeah, I've never, I've never seen these for sale except once, um, and I got mine for about I think it was ten pounds um, as a sling. I've seen one centimetres for forty pounds. So doing pretty well. Let's see if it's hungry. Oh, it pooped itself. And you can see it's just there chilling. Oh, a little wonder. Um, for me, the aren't fast, really. Um, not really fast at all. See this one grow again. I'll feed it in a sec. Um, 
I'll crush a locust and drop it in. I'll keep you updated if it eats. I'm gonna take some dirt out as well so it can burrow a bit more. And um, this will be getting upgraded as well soon. All right, back in a sec. This is another tea that needs a rehouse. I wish I had more of them long, wide, um, long tubs. Um, like what my fixed palm octane, my police of hell, my species Bolivia, uh, Drupal cripes, and all fell into gold. Um, they're all in there. And they're a lot better than what my. Because kind of putting them in the ones the same as my seed elites here, it's kind of jumping a bit. But. Yeah, it's like. It's like jumping a step. I could have them in that little tub a lot longer and then move into something like what my Permictus Platus is in. So it's a bit of a dilemma. Uh, this one should be hungry. Oh, God. <sighs> Another one that always wants to come out and play. I do think all of my um, Grammar Stola or males just because the growth rate is crazy. Oh, it's my grocers. I am for a senior in my pulp gripes and um, they just molt like mad. So they are suspect males. Not too fussed as they do live ages. Well, it'll get in its own time. I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Alright, back in set people. Not going to be feeding this on camera, I just thought I'd tell you that it's doing alright. This is my Alapes Grandis, which is my only centipede. Um, but the update was the gram store and Fasini just took it down. So yeah, alright, I'll leave it on B and I'll just feed this, but off camera because it will probably not eat. If I catch it eating, I'll obviously film it. Alright, back in a sec. This is my GBB and for once I'm actually going to try and pronounce the Latin name. Um, Chromatopelma cyanopubescence. I think that's it. <laughs> um, that's it. I nearly ripped GBB on the tank, so I've been that laser. I didn't even mean to drop that in. <laughs> she bounced on it, that was very good. Um, so, yeah, this is my GBB adult female um, called Jezebel. She's a really nice um, girl, to be honest. She's not vicious at all. Um, quite placid. Um, I would handle her if I like had to. If it came down to it, I wouldn't mind. Um, because she's quite placid. Um, but a very good feeder nonetheless. So yeah, GBB. All right, we'll leave a B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I always thought this would happen one day, and it did. I'm um, trying to get the locust out, and it jumped straight into the tank, and she pounced on it. Um, this is my Confiscoria geniculata, um, confirmed female. And I'm going to feed her one more because I was only in quite a small one. It was only quite a small one, that was a very good sentence. I'm going to feed her another small one. Oh, you're not being greedy? Surely you're going to tap that. You're in the camp for scurrier, you've got to live up to your name. She's actually not wanting to take it. She's actually not wanting it, she's only wanting one. That's weird. Oh dear. Yeah. I'll um, take it out in a second, off camera. So yeah, did an odd one. But yeah, she has eight. She's got one. You can see there. You can see the leg. Uh, but yeah, Canvas Gorio Geniculata. Alright, back in a sec. Typical Nandu. Um, this is my Nandu Chromatis. Um, Nandu is one of my favourite tarantulas, and I do love these ones. Um, typical mood. Um, literally, dug out her water bowl. We poured water in, and this is what I got greeted by. She hadn't stroke. She's literally just gone into fret posture. Okay, she should be hungry. Really? Don't let it drown. Just give you fresh water. But you chucked everything. Mucking it. Go on. Grab it. <laughs> it's 
really his belly. You actually gonna tell from the locusts? That it's harmless, by the way. As I was mentioning, locusts are harmless to teas. And she got it. So yeah, Mandu Clematis eight. I had to cut camera off. Um, I knew she would. She's a good eater. All right, we'll leave a B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is my Nandu Chloratovillosa. She seems to be walking a lot less, um, like a crab. And um, all I did was increase the humidity. Um, I flood the enclosure a bit more, and she seems to be happy with that. Well, until I open the lid, and then she's not happy. Let's see if she's hungry. Yeah, but she is very mardy. Um, she's my mardy tarantula, easily. Uh, rivals Pecanceratis, and at the moment he's just not bothered, he's harmless. Um, it does get moody, but this girl takes the moody medal. <laughs> she should eat. Um, I do really like these tarantulas with like the stripiness on the legs. Should be hungry. Yep, she got it. What's she doing? Get across the petty palms. I think she mistruck it. <laughs> That's normal. I'll give her some extra camera time. Just because she's funny. She's a nice girl though, when she wants to be. And back into that. She actually struck the tweezers. I'm really confident she'll eat. She just needs to calm down. That's what she did last time. I'm going to leave her be. She just doesn't like me. Um, she will eat. I'm pretty confident about it. If I catch eating, I will record it. Alright, back in a sec. So I found out I had one adult locust left, and there's only one guy that deserves that, and that's Mark. My first ever tarantula, and my, um, he's an immature male. And he took it down with ease. He's a very good eater. Um, a bit mardy attitude, but he never gives me much trouble. Very easy to keep. And that's about it. Balkan Cephalon, really. It's like three locust heads that's left behind here. Hoarding them. Alright, we'll take them out. Alright, I'm going to leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. See, she just doesn't like me. <laughs> Um, she ate literally like, this is like two minutes after I put her away. So yeah, Nandu Colorado Velocis did eat in the end. Told you she would. <laughs> Back in a sec. This is my peak on Ceratis. Um, it's a mature male, is about a juvie size at the moment. These get absolutely massive. These, these are the biggest, like compared to the females, these are the biggest mature males I've ever seen in my life. I've seen immature males that get to like seven, eight inch and it's mad, absolutely mad to say the females only get about seven to nine I think, something like that. So it's crazy. They are huge immature males. Um see if he's hungry. Yep, he grabbed it. Usually always does. By the way there's flies um, flying around my camera. I get them out before I close the enclosure. Yeah, it's gone. Nope, it's still here. That's because of my um, roaches. Once my last adult goes, I'm tempted to sell my colony. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> I'll get that out in a sec. Alright, back in a sec, people. Once again, the locust jumped out of the box. Um, this is my Panther BTS Fortis, immature male. 
Um, I'm pretty confident it'll jump on it. It's getting big now. Um, it's getting to be one of my big tarantulas. Um, it shouldn't be too far off maturing, to be fair. Yep, tongue feeds. Not too fast. Yeah, but yeah, it's my Pamphletus fortis, and he will be made to look with that female. Um, she's gonna get fed so much <laughs> before I mate him with him, cause he's lovely, and I don't want him to get eat eaten. <laughs> But yeah, um, he's doing fine, just keep him wet and he seems happy. Full focus, yeah. Um, we will get an enclosure upgrade after he molts one more time because um, he's getting absolutely huge, as I just mentioned. Alright, back in a sec. I've only opened the lid because he's down his burrow. Usually, I would not because he's stupidly fast. Let's see if he's hungry. Yep. Um, Psychosternums are really good eaters. Um, Bore my Psychosternum smarte, but um, I've explained that she's not too well. Um, she's not too well. So, but all the other ones eat like pigs. Alright, back in a sec. Once again, another tea I would usually never dare take the lid off, but he's down his burrow. This is my Holophilly Sanguiniceps. Never ever eat on camera. Let's see if it make a first. I hope I can't get the back entrance to his burrow because he will bolt stupidly fast. Do right at the back. Immature male. Um, I think I'm gonna leave him be. I don't want to chance him bolting because he's stupidly fast. All right, back in a sec. This is my Lassidora Stratopes. Um, he literally destroyed his hide and decided to hide at the side of it. Makes no sense. Usually, it's just a bit skittish. Should eat. He's not being shy. Come on, man. Generally, the last few doors are quite skittish as juvies. Um, like my LP, um, that was skittish as hell. It's still a bit skittish, but not as bad as when I first got it. I call it juvie, it was 10 centimeters, but small for that species. I'm gonna leave him be. I'm pretty confident I'll eat it. Alright, back in a sec. This is my S. Hoffmanni. That little like, nub on its carapace is the start of a horn because this is the central horned bird eater. The only other genus which has a horn um, except Ceratogyrus. Is it Ceratogyrus? I can't remember how you say it. Should be hungry. Yep, always eats. Very good feeder and a very nice tea. Um, nice little male. Pretty harmless. Likes um, and he's like it really dry, but he likes to sit where his water bowl, and he's just made it all. He's basically just knocked it all out. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna leave him be. Back in a sec. We did a substrate the other week, and he makes a mess every single time. <laughs> this is my Fumictus platus. Um, I think it might have been pre mort I can't remember. Coming at a bit bigger food than usual. Let's see if it's hungry. Yep, took it down with ease. Um, very good feeders for Mixpus. Um, 
And this one's actually pretty chilled out for, for me to piss. I've actually handled this one, which I don't usually advise, but you just climbed out and sat on my hand. I wasn't too fussed. So yeah, I'm going to leave him be and fill up his water bowl. Alright, back in a sec. Not going to feed this one today. Um, I'm pretty confident she's going to pre-molt. Plus, um, she's already pretty fat. She's doing perfect fine. This is my E species yellow female. She's been burrowing a lot at the moment. But she does seem to be in pre -mort. If she isn't, I'll just feed next week, but she's been quite fat. She killed a locust and took it into her hive. Or is that the bottom? That's the bottom. <laughs> the bottom. Well, she's like dug to the bottom and it's like perfect size of a locust. Oh well. Alright, so I'm going to leave her be, um, I'm going to have a break for about half an hour, I'll let my phone charge, and carry on feeding the teas, one shelf left to do, and that's mainly Avix. The Avix slings, I'm just going to chuck a locust in and show you after, because they're a pain to film on camera because they try to run off. So I'll probably be starting with an M3, and um, my two brother Senny and my Versi, so it might just be an update after this. Alright, back in a sec. Okay, so I've just fed the teas that um, are stupidly fast and I don't really want to, um, them to escape. I already have problems with the Versi colour being a pain, but anyway. Um, I, a quick question to people. Did my feeding video mess up last week because I think it's cut some clips off or it put some in the wrong order? Um, could people let me know if you've got this far? I don't know if they have, but basically why I'm mentioning this is my sea Sandra didn't eat last week, and I found out it molted. Um, I'll be doing a separate molt video for that, obviously, but yeah, sea Sandra did molt. So the ones I have fed are the Bronicenis, the Pear, um, the A Versicolor, which hasn't grabbed it yet. Stupidly fast for Avic. C Darlingy, um, C Marshalli, C Fimbriatus, which hasn't H just yet. The H in C Gold is getting stupidly big now and has eight. And the H in C. Oh, I think she got it, you can see her legs there. Yeah, I think she did. You see a little head there. Not too good. Alright, so these are... Sorry about that, my phone cut off. So yeah, these are the stupidly fast ones that um, I do just usually feed off camera. I just thought I'd do them all together. So then, after this, it's just feeding them all. Alright, back in a sec. Finally back to the feeding. Stupid locust. This is my A later. I'm pretty confident she's hungry. Mm. Yep. Um, one of my favourite teas of all time. Absolutely love these. Um, basically, it's a brown avic. <laughs> Not too interesting, but they are a small aggressive species. Yes, they are aggressive. Very aggressive. The most aggressive avic. Um, there's a couple of flies in the enclosure. Um, but I'm really not worried. If I see a problem, I sort it. But if it's a couple of flies, I'm not bothered because look at all the ventilation. It'll just be that. Um, plus, she's not overrun. Most room were just like hitting the lid, so they flew out pretty much. Um, yeah. Um, if you don't know, I do have a fruit fly problem, but that's because of my colony of peppered roaches. Um, so yeah. So yeah, she's doing fine, she's webbed up an absolute ton, she's out most nights, and she's, mm, I'm not going to say she's chilled, she's pissy, as out. Alright, I'm going to leave her to eat, back in a sec. This is my Vicularia species brood purple, so you can see her quite well at the moment. Um, I say sheep, I do think it's a male, and these uh, this one lets me tongue feed it. Um, it's my favourite of my Ivix because it's quite calm, never gives me trouble, and... It tongue feeds. Just like that. Just takes it. Just quite gentle about it. 
Um, easily the favorite, my favorite Avic in my collection. Not because the look, the A later is my favorite, but I just like it for its personality. It's very nice. It reminds me of my Versi um, male that matured out. So yeah, I'm gonna leave a B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Plopus Tristatus, um, a lot calmer and a lot um, less speedy and nicer than my Plopus species called me a large female. Should be hungry. They are good eaters as slings. Give it a fret posture. I'm gonna leave it in with it. You can see the I've done patterns. This is a tristatus. Alright, I'm gonna leave it in with it. Back in a sec. This uh <coughs> this is Lucky, my Pamphobetius um Ultramarinus sling. It went for the leg. <laughs> it's a proper daft thing. Yeah, and it's cracking it. Yeah, it took it down. It's a relatively good eater. It's a panther, what do you expect? Just damp and sub a bit. It is relatively wet already and it is doing perfectly fine. So yeah, we'll leave this one be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my grammar store of pull crabs. should grab it. Doing very well. I'm starting to get its adult coloration. I do think it's a male though. So I grab it. Yep, you grabbed it. So yeah, ground stopple crabs. Back in a sec. This is my Frix Pelma Octi. In primo, here we go. Tongue thread, very nice tea. Um, starting to get its adult coloration, but yeah, this is the Frix Palma Octi. Back in a sec. This is my absolutely gorgeous Plesa Palma species Bolivia. Should be hungry, that's how bothered it is. Not much. It's like you have this. Really, is not bothered. <laughs> and he grabbed it. Um, very very nice tarantula. This is roughly about its adult colours. Keeps the abdomen darkens out a tiny bit more. But yeah, um, it's a dwarf species. A very nice one at that. All right, we'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my big freshly malted Lassiodora Itabune and I found out it is a female, so should be hungry. Yep, she's hardened up. Can't really see her too well. That's her, she's like a greyish colour. Looking very nice. That pump. She's got some dirt on my phone. <laughs> But yeah, she's doing perfectly fine. Um, malted two weeks ago now, something like that, week and a half. And she's already hungry. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave a B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Tackle sternum fasciatum. Should be hungry, it's an adult female. Usually jumps back down and runs back up and grabs it. Uh, 
Interesting. Yep, hit like a ton of bricks. So yeah, see fresh atom. Close the lid and show you a tiny bit better. Well, that didn't work. That's her. See fasciatum, adult female. Alright, back in a sec. This is my mature male Lopopus species Columbia Large, still eating, so. See what I mean? This is a mature male, and um, they're supposed to lose their appetites. Mine didn't. It's absolutely not case, he goes mad for his locust. So, yeah, really good eater. And he's a mature male still. So yeah, um, still got life left in him. So hopefully that female will hurry up and molt. All right, back in a sec. My absolutely gorgeous Anemphis Intermedius. He seems to be calm at the moment, which is worrying me, because he's never calm. Still goes mad for locusts though. So yeah, he's an immature male. Um, very moody, but a very nice tea. Um, one of the more expensive tarantulas in the hobby, but definitely worth the price. Alright, back in a sec. So this is my C Pentalor. She obviously wants to play. Um, she has been busy. She's made an elaborate tunnel that goes all the way around the enclosure. And she has an entrance every one of the corners except that one. Because it was blocked off by the water ball, so I had to dig it out. Should be hungry. Yeah, she's there. Come on. I get a better angle on her. I don't know why she's hanging off the lid. There we go. There she is. Really don't know how she hasn't noticed, noticed the locals. You can see the tiger rump. This is um, looks very similar to the sea fasciatum, except they're a lot bigger and bulkier. Well, not a lot bigger, but they're a lot more bulkier. Come on, locust! My phone's nearly dead. Nope, she ran off. Alright, I'm going to leave her be with it. I'm pretty confident she'll eat it. Alright, back in a sec. Second to last tea. This is my C. Um, K. Bunny Fees. You can sit there. I'm going to leave it be because I need to rush because my phone battery is nearly dead. So I'll move on to the last one and then that will be for, done for tonight and I'll give you an update tomorrow. Alright, back in a sec. Last but definitely not least, one of my favourite tarantulas of all time. Petrino Pelma Sazime. And this one hits like a ton of bricks. Just like that. Very, very fast for a bird eater. And it's bright blue and very, very rare. Not loads in the hobby, and this is a confirmed female. Um, very happy that I've got this. Very, very happy. It's easily one of my favourite tarantulas, and it gets huge. Um, not too sure how big, but it's a bird eater. So that's six plus inches easily. 
So yeah, should be fun raising this one, and it's a fast-ish grower. So yeah, I'm going to leave it be, and I'll give you an update tomorrow. So it's been a good feeding video. Uh, a few haven't ate, but I'll give you an update on who eats and who doesn't in a second. Alright, back in a sec, people. Hello, so this is just the update. Um, these two didn't eat, and HNC is a bit of a mystery. She's down there, can't really see her. Um, she could have molted, but you really can't tell with species like this if they're burrowed because she's got no real entrances, it's just straight in the middle, so you can't really see, and underneath, she ain't burrowed to the bottom. So, yep, she didn't eat. This is my sea darlingi, but that didn't eat for a very good reason. Um, you can't really see it. It's like there. Um, it's molted. Um, there's something weird, but I'll tell you that in a second. Um, Polypus species Columbia large female 8, I think. I uh, literally cannot tell. Um, either that or she's dragged it into a burrow, killed it or something. Cannot tell. Um, tried to see, but I can't see her in the back of a burrow. But I can't see any locusts, so she's probably ate it. Um, Acanthus scuria, Antilles and Aatrox. Um, so they're both species bizarre. Grammar Stoller grosses, both of them. All them what eight. Um, P. Concertis violet, eight. Um, Holophilus sanguiniceps, eight. Lacidora stratipes, eight. C. pentel, eight. K. bunny peas, eight. H. tristatus, eight. Bronosenes, eight. One's on the floor, and then there's one climbing there. Both of them, eight. My versicola, who is just sat there looking at me. Well, not looking at me, because her eyes are on the other side. Do. Um, she's just there. <laughs> and these are weird ones. This is the seed marshallie, it's just there. It's malted. So it ate and it literally malted. And I thought that was weird. One tea doing it, but two have. Um, can you see it? No, it's too webbed up. This is the sea fimbriatus. It's just about there. You can't really see it. Um, with that, it has actually got its adult colours now. It will be getting upgraded. Um, I'll be going through more of that in the molting video, so that'll be it up next. So, these three have actually molted. But them two eight, so the C Fimbratus and the C, I think it was the Darlingi, no, Marshalli eight. C Darlingi molted and didn't eat, and the H in C just didn't eat. So pretty much everything else, unless it was in the video that didn't eat, eight. So yeah, all these K Bunny Peas, C Pentel or Female, uh, Hippopus Gestatus, Versicolor Two Bronosenes, Holophus Sanganiceps, Lacidora Stratipes, P Concertis Violet, G Grosses, both of them, P, um, P Species Kazar, um, Capuscuri, Aatrox and Tilisis, and Hippopus Species Cumbillard Female, all them did eat in the end. Um, so yeah, um, one of the Bronosenes got a smaller prey item, it actually did eat it, I think it's this one. This one's a bit of an odd one, it webs up top and it sits down bottom and <laughs> it bolts. It's doing alright though, both of them are doing right ra rain. Seems to do better in the tall deli cups because you give them more space unless they are like literally first malt. Then I put them in the um, pill vials till they get to a centimetre to two centimetre pill vials, um, files, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, that's an update on them. Next video will be a malt, a, uh, malt video, so yeah, look forward to that and I will explain a bit more about the sea theme. Alright, see you in a bit people, bye.